Two million dollars doesn't go as far as it used to in California. That's why you're here. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holt Wise TV. Subscribe, follow, hit us up with an email, give us a call, 216-661-6633, if you like what I'm doing for my man Spiff in California today. Spiff, you got two mil. Two milli, baby! Two milli! But two million dollars does not get you as much as it used to, especially in California. Holy crap, does two million dollars not go very far in California? California is freaking, boo! Dude, you gotta be batshit crazy to, to buy rental property in California right now. You got, uh, I mean, dude, I don't know. Is it even like part of America? It's like the freaking communist nation of fucking California out there. It's nuts. And the pricing is nuts. Everything is nuts, right? So... You, Spiff, you come to me because you want your money to go far. And there's a lot of markets in the United States where it can go pretty freaking far, right? $2 million gets you a lot of real estate in other markets, specifically the Cleveland market. Now, the Cleveland market, even though money is going to go so much farther uh, here than it would in California, I, I do got to let you know, Spiff, uh, working with you thus far, we've done a handful of videos and you've placed some offers uh, yeah, dude, it's cheap out here in Cleveland, bro, but it's still competitive. This is 2021. Very, very competitive seller's market in the United States right now, and the offers you've been putting in are not competitive in the least bit, bro. So you are going to have to adjust your thinking if you'd like to take a deal down. Sure, I get it, dude. You're like, oh, it's cheap out there. People in Cleveland, they don't, you know, they don't have as much money as people in California. Man, man. Bro. You still got to be realistic. It's called supply and demand, okay? Like, for instance, that triplex that I, I just put on the Invested Properties for Sales show, right? I put that one out there. And, dude, I got multiple offers within hours, many of which way over list price, right? I, I think we got, uh, like, 10 friggin' offers in, like, three hours. And, uh, you know, then you friggin' shoot me some offer that's, like, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 less than, like, half of them, right? So, uh, you know, that's fine and good, bro. But, uh, I mean, you can shit off as many offers as you want. I'm just letting you know. Uh, you're probably not getting a deal, right? Like, uh, in addition to that property, there's that other one. It was, like, an apartment building. And, uh... You know, I think uh, I told you you definitely would have to pay list price on it. It was like four hundred grand, three ninety five, something like that. And then you shot it off for like sixty freaking thousand dollars less than list price, and it wasn't even available for you, right? So, you know, bro, if you actually want to take a property down, you know, what I'm just trying to tell you is you're really gonna need to to be more aggressive, uh, or you're just not gonna get a deal. Uh, you know, we could bid on as many as you want. It's totally fine by me. I'm just letting you know if you want to get to the finish line, bro, be more aggressive. And the property I have for you today is another one, dude. You got to be freaking aggressive on this one. This one is going to fly. Uh, it's going to be highly desirable, and I think you need to pay list. If you want me to put in a super low ball offer, I will. But, you know, 99% chance you ain't getting the deal. So let's jump into it after this commercial break. Hey, lenders, are you looking for more clients? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. All right, welcome back. Let's jump right into this property, okay? This, I love this one. This is a solid deal. 12705 Thrush, Lakewood, 44107. The list price is $240,000. And right here on the screen, I have the existing rent roll, right? Three of the units are occupied, one is empty, right? We got this one at 650, 440, 400, and fairly rent ready, right? Now, this is the cool thing about Lakewood. For those of you that are new to the Cleveland market, uh, Lakewood is, is not Cleveland. It's its own suburb, and it is almost night and day compared to Cleveland, it feels like sometimes. The uh, demand 
right, for rental properties in Lakewood is insane. Like, your vacancy is almost non-existent when you're in Lakewood. And the, the one vacant unit is freaking beautiful, dude. It's rent-ready uh, from what it appears on these photos uh, from the listing agent, of course, right? I haven't actually physically toured it. That'll be the next step of the due diligence, right? We'll get a home inspection for you. Uh, but from what I'm looking at, it looks great. And then you see some of the occupied units, right? The, the cool thing with Lakewood is the vacancy is non-existent. The rents are much higher, right? The, those rents that I had just showed you uh, on the screen there, those are ridiculously low, right? Those must be like long-term legacy tenants. You got a mom-and-pop landlord running this thing. As far as what the rent should be, property like this, we are looking for $750 a pop, right? One-bedroom units. If we're in Cleveland, you need a two-bedroom unit to get you that price, right? Not in Lakewood, man. People want to live there, dude. It's close to the nightlife. It's a hip. It's a trendy area. Crime is much lower than Cleveland. This is a freaking, uh, this is like a trophy property, honestly, right? If you're going to be buying multifamily properties and you get the opportunity to get a freaking quad in Lakewood, you need to move quick, right? So it should on the long haul, be able to bring in approximately 36 k a year. Now, of course, you don't get to keep that, right? You don't get to collect rent 100% of the time. Even though there's barely any vacancy, we're still going to factor in for that, right? Lakewood, right? Not a lot of vacancy, but, you know, we're still... In the rental business, rent doesn't get paid every month, guys. It's just not how it works, no matter how trendy or cool the neighborhood is, right? So I anticipate spending like 18 Gs to operate this thing, leaving you with almost 18 as your NOI. For those who've been watching this show for a long time, you guys know I love quads more than any other property because it is the property that's going to allow you to maximize your residential mortgages, right? You only get 10 residential mortgages. You should always use that first one for your home, right? Your personal home where you're going to live. Meaning you only get nine mortgages, right? So do you want to use your nine mortgages to get nine single family homes and get nine rental income checks a month? Or do you want to use those nine mortgages to get as many units as you can, right? If you got four quads or nine quads, rather, I'm sorry. If you got nine quads, it'd be like 36 rental income checks, right? So I freaking love quads. My favorite. You're going to have to pay every bit of that 240000 that the listing agent listed it for. So if you did that, that'd be a 15% cash on cash return for the long haul man freaking solid deal just why we're in here for the pictures right looks like this furnace it's probably only like five to ten years old which is great these hot water tanks look to be in the same range okay you got all your electric panels it looks like we might need to do some updating uh for the electric panels but all in all the building looks to be in pretty good shape now do i anticipate it having like a brand new roof no do I anticipate the home inspection report coming back like, yo, this is the greatest property I've ever seen? No, dude, it's over 100 years old. But what you're really buying here, you're buying a property that you could finance in the mo most efficient and profitable way. You're buying a property in an incredibly low-risk, highly desirable rental area. This, I would have uh, no hesitation to put in a full-price offer on this, if not going above list price to make sure that I took it down. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.